Some of the biggest mask news of 2021 is here, coming directly from Celebrity Cruise Lines, and we are here to talk about it. Well, hello everyone. Thank you so much for joining. If this is your first time watching, my name is Jordan and this is JJ Cruz. Before we jump into this exciting news, if you could do me a favor, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell notification button so that you never miss breaking news like this. And today, you guys, this is huge, huge news. So I'm not going to waste any more time. Let's just get right to the point. We know that Celebrity Cruise Lines is actually really one of the first cruise lines to be sailing in the Caribbean out of St. Martin on June 5th. That is just, we are, we are not like days away from that sailing. Celebrity is also a part of Royal Caribbean and Jared and I are on the June 12th Royal Caribbean sailing out of the Bahamas and if you watched yesterday's news, you know that we received uh, kind of an update, <laughs> I guess if you want to call it that, from, uh, from Royal Caribbean saying, hey, we're in talks with the CDC, we're gonna have your health and safety protocols up and ready by next week. Well, Celebrity just let their passengers know what their updated health and safety protocols are, and I'm pretty, I'm pretty excited, I have to be honest. Um, and I think that they're, I think they're huge. First, no masks for vaccinated passengers indoor or outdoor, as long as social distancing can be observed. So for the most part, people are not gonna be wearing masks on these cruises because with the celebrity cruises going out of St. Martin and out of Greece, you do have to be vaccinated to be aboard the ship. Um, now they also have now said that if you are 16 and up, you need to be vaccinated, not just 18 and up, which was the previous um, mandate for going on these ships. So if you are 16 and up and going on these sailings, you're going to have to have your vaccination. And that means when social distancing can be observed, you do not have to have your mask, which is amazing. It, it like, if you're gonna be on these celebrity cruise ships, it's gonna kind of feel like, you know, old, the old days before all of this happened. And I realize I'm speculating here, but like I already said, celebrity is a part of Royal Caribbean. One can only assume that Royal Caribbean is going to follow suit here and that the Royal Caribbean sailings, you will not have to have a mask, which means y'all, I'm going to be doing that ship tour of Adventure of the Seas with no mask on because I got my vaccine. <laughs> that's at least, that's at least the hope. The second part of this, if you are on a celebrity cruise ship and you are going around to these islands, you can get off the ship and do your own excursion or your own island exploration as long as the island allows. Now we know that every country all over the world and all of these little islands have kind of their own set of rules, right? So when you're on that, that island or you're aboard a ship that is docking at a specific port, that island might have different rules than what the CDC says or what the cruise lines say. So there might be an island that says, you know what, no, we will not allow you know, anyone to just come and roam the island and get off the ship. And if that's the case, you're going to have to adhere to those rules. But Celebrity has said that as long as the island's good with it, they are good with it too. And the pass and passengers aboard those ships can get off of the ships and go explore on your own. I think that this is great news. This is really encouraging and this is really exciting. I, I really, really hope that Royal Caribbean follows suit here and we have every reason to believe that they will. Because again, they're part of the same cruise line group, they're doing these summer sailings out of the United States, and they're both in, they both have been in talks with the CDC, and Celebrity is following suit, is following suit with exactly what the CDC has already said. So I believe Royal Caribbean will do the same. Now there, there's a lot of you that have asked, why does this even matter? Why does it matter that the CDC has any type of say in these sailings when they're not going from the United States? And that is a great question. Here is my assumption. My assumption is that they're going to be using these sailings to prove to the CDC and show the world that they're capable of resuming cruising and resuming it in a fun, safe, um, and easy way. So I, I really do think that's why they're so tightly 
in discussions with the CDC and talking to them about these protocols and trying to make sure that they are doing all of the right things. Um, that, that can only be the, the assumption that I had. Tell me what you think. Why do you think that the CDC is so tightly involved with these summer sailings? Um, do you agree with me? Do you, do you disagree with me? I want to hear your thoughts. The comments are open. All right, last but not least, a little bit of... I, I mean, it's, it's concerning news, but I, I'm sure it's going to be fine. We just found out today that the Adventures of the Sea crew is getting their vaccines today. We are less than a month away from our June 12th sale date, and they have to be getting the J&J &J vaccine, right? That, like, that's the only thing that makes sense here. Because if they're not, they won't be considered fully vaccinated. They're at, the ship is at Port Canaveral today, and they're getting their vaccines. So I really hope that they're getting their J&J &J vaccine and that these cruises aren't gonna be canceled. If you hear anything, please let us know in the comments. Uh, we reached out to a couple of our contacts there just to find out, but um, it's a little bit worrisome, but I'm, I'm sure it's the J&J &J and I'm sure everything's gonna be fine and we're gonna be aboard that ship on June 12th. All right, so tell me what you think. Do you? Do you like this news about celebrity? I mean, I personally find it very exciting, and I think that Royal Caribbean is going to follow suit. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Why? Why not? Let me know. Um, you know, Royal Caribbean also has a ship going out of Bermuda. We're going to be on that ship at the end of June, and one can only imagine that that might be the same, you know, scenario there. Now, Bermuda does have its own separate set of rules from the Bahamas, so... Like I said, every little cruise and every island you visit, it's going to be kind of different. But I want to hear from you. I want to hear what you think of all of this news today. How excited are you? I am so excited. Let me know. Also, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell notification, and thank you for joining us today. We are here for you. We are bringing you the breaking news that you want to hear. And until next time, see ya. See ya.